Welcome Wastelanders to another video. Uh, as you see from the title, we are at uh, Ten Pines Bluff again. But it's not exactly a full settlement build. This is kind of more of an offshoot. Uh, the castle that I built there several videos ago still exists. Um, we are actually just outside of what the, the normal buildable area would be. Um, so this one's a little bit on the crazy side. This was uh, kind of inspired by a picture that I saw on one of the Facebook uh, Fallout 4 fan group uh, things, whatever you want to call them. Um, so as you're going to see, I'm going to post up the picture right now so you can take a look at what uh, basically inspired this crazy build. And you're probably thinking to yourself that uh, I lost it. And you're not wrong, but uh, I lost it a long time ago and never found it ever again. But uh, that's kind of neither here nor there. Anyway, so this is my little mini settlement. Um, as you saw with the picture, uh, it was basically a bunch of houses that were built uh, together to kind of create a bridge. And that picture also inspired my London Bridge build that I did uh, just a few videos ago. And around the same time I did that one, I did this one and completely forgot about it. So let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at this one. and. Uh, you can see from the picture that uh, I had put up, uh, it just closely resembles it. It was just kind of me throwing a whole bunch of different uh, building textures to try and create some sort of funky thing. Now, if you're familiar with uh, this particular location over by Ten Pines Bluff, you can see the bridge up there. So this actually ended up still being a bridge, just like in the picture. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top. So now over there is Ten Pines Bluff. There's uh, my castle, what you can at least see of it anyway, what's rendering. And uh, this is the bridge. Um, I tried to get uh, everything built into it as close as I possibly could to make it look like it is part of the bridge, uh, but without doing some serious glitching with the like Place Anywhere tool, uh, this is basically what you get. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this location before. I mean, I assume if you've been to Ten Pines, you've also found this. Um, this was a little happy thing that I had found uh, right when the game first came out. I loved this site and I always thought it was really, really cool. And uh, it's the type of thing that you could uh, you know, take my idea here and even expand it. Because you have this whole little uh, valley, I guess you can say, to uh, make this even bigger or put more bridges in. You know, whatever. So uh, you can actually go inside. Uh, there's some steps here leading down. And... Uh, this uh, was kind of an afterthought. I put all this stuff in here and then suddenly realized I didn't have any way to uh, get down into it. So I uh, had to put this whole little walkway and stairs and uh, there, here we go. So uh, right inside we have a nice little loft landing and as you can see uh, I built everything into the stone walls there. And we have uh, kind of like a little makeshift house that's all kind of jumbled together. Uh, we've got our little vault boy dude over there. Uh, makeshift kitchen slash dining area. Uh, it does have its own power supply here. Uh, we have a living room and then upstairs we have our little bedroom. And that's uh, basically it for this little uh, mini build here. Uh, this is just kind of something to give you guys a little inspiration to try new different weird things because um, you really never know what the heck uh, you can come up with. Uh, this little room over here, of course, with the outhouse door, is our makeshift bathroom. Um, basically, just let it, uh, you know, let gravity do its job. But uh, there you go. So this is uh, our sort of Ten Pines Bluff extended uh, build. Uh, there's one more little tiny building up here that I you know, just kind of stuck in. We'll go take a look at that guy as well. Uh, you would get to him by crossing over the uh, the roofs here and I didn't really put anything inside this because uh, not really much room to do much of anything but you do have this little tiny shack here that uh, kind of acts as a an extended room for whatever purpose but uh, there you go uh, this is a short video I know this isn't a gigantic settlement like I usually do but uh, trust me I got more stuff coming uh, plenty more um, I'm in the process of building actually out in Far Harbor uh, that one's going to be coming up uh, in the near future. 
Um, I got another one or so before that. Uh, probably even going to be doing a tutorial video soon as well. I uh, got some new mods to go over with uh, you guys. Some new uh, building. Uh, I don't know, I guess, yeah, tutorial on how to do some of these things. Uh, stuff for beginners and stuff for some of you advanced builders. Uh, mainly, going to be working with uh, some lighting. Um, I've been experimenting at Far Harbor with all kinds of different lighting techniques, and I'm going to go over some of that stuff with you guys. Uh, until next time, don't get irradiated. <laughs>